I'm Marshall Kaplan. I'm a professor of medicine at Tufts University School of Medicine and Chief Emeritus of the Division of Gastroenterology at Tufts Medical Center. I thank the editors of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology for selecting our paper for review. The paper is Colchicine plus Ursodiol versus Methotrexate plus Ursodiol in the Treatment of Primary Villar Cirrhosis 20-year follow-up. Approximately 65% of patients with primary biliary cirrhosis will respond completely to treatment with ursodiol and have normal survival for up to 20 years. Approximately 35% of patients respond incompletely to ursodiol and have progressive disease. Uh, we have been offering patients who respond incompletely to ursodiol adjunctive treatment with colchicine and methotrexate for uh, many years. Uh, we uh, published our experience in DDS one year ago. Uh, we studied 91 patients with PBC who responded incompletely to ursodiol and then responded with colchicine and methotrexate was added. 80% of these patients responded and there was significant improvement in biochemical tests of liver function, liver histology, and symptoms. We wondered whether this response was durable. We had the opportunity to study another cohort of patients who had been in a prospective double-blind trial of culture C versus methotrexate began, that began in 1988 at a time that ursodiol was not available. When ursodiol was, became available and patients uh, were in the study for at least two years, they were given ursodiol in addition. Uh, we followed these patients for 10 years and, and uh, published results in hepatology in 2004. There were 29 patients who completed all 10 years of the study. 18 of these patients had been randomized to colchicine plus ursodiol. 12 of these patients were alive and well after 20 years, had normal liver function tests, and functioned normally. Uh, three patients, all of whom had normal liver function tests, died in the 70s and 80s of cerebral vascular disease that was unrelated to the PBC. However, there were three patients who had progressive disease. Two of these patients had liver transplantation, and a third who was not eligible for liver transplantation died of pneumonia. There were 11 patients who completed the study who had been randomized to methotrexate and ursodiol. Nine of these patients are alive and well and have totally normal biochemical tests of liver function, asymptomatic, and lead normal lives. Two patients in their 70s who had normal liver function tests died of unrelated cerebral vascular disease. Uh, this slide indicates the durability of the biochemical response. If we look at alkaline phosphatase at baseline, there was a significant decrease after two years of treatment, that is before ursodiol was added. At 10 years, there was a further and significant decrease in alkaline phosphatase, and this, was, this response was sustained out for 20 years. The same is true of AST. You can see that 10 and 20 years, the, the results are the same, also ALT. Equally important, albumin levels remain normal throughout the 20-year period. Uh, the prothrombin time remained normal, actually improved a little bit, and bilirubin uh, remained normal during the study. In summary, uh, the response to culture C and methotrexate was durable, and the response to methotrexate appeared to be more durable than that to culture C. Thank you very much.